Connecting your bank and credit card accounts to QuickBooks eliminates tons of data entry and keeps your business's books up to date all the time. And if you invest the time now, you'll get it back later when QuickBooks learns how to do most of the work for you. Let's start with the easy part. Connect your bank account. Choose your bank and use the username and password you use to access that account from the bank's website. Hang tight. It may take up to a couple of minutes for your bank's computers to talk to QuickBooks. Now you see all the accounts you have at this bank. Choose the account you use for your business and tell QuickBooks what kind of accounts they are. QuickBooks connects to your account and downloads all the transactions for the last 90 days. Don't worry, you don't have to deal with them all at once. Here's the thing, these transactions aren't really in QuickBooks yet. Let's get started putting transactions into QuickBooks. First, click the category or match column to sort the transactions. You'll see where QuickBooks tried to find categories for some transactions. Click the name of the first transaction to open it. You've got some choices to make here. If you agree with the category QuickBooks gave this transaction, leave it. To put this transaction in a different category, open the menu and choose the right category. Next, choose the payee, the person you paid with this transaction. Is this transaction new to your QuickBooks? You've never entered it as an expense or a check or anything else? Then click Add. You're done with this transaction. Did you pay a business credit card bill or make a loan payment with this transaction? In that case, choose Transfer. Choose the account you paid this money to and click Transfer. What if you spent money but you bought stuff from more than one category, like a purchase at an office supply store that included a new laptop, printer paper, and toner? In this case, click Split. Then choose the appropriate categories and how much you spent on each. Now let's say QB categorized a bunch of transactions and you agree with its categorization. Click one checkbox, hold down the shift key, choose the final one in the list that you want to choose, open batch actions and choose accept. Yay, they're all done. Oops, what if you made a mistake and categorized a transaction wrong? No problem. Click the in QuickBooks tab, choose the transaction and undo it. It goes back to new transactions, so you can put it where it belongs. You've taught QuickBooks a lot about your business. You'll spend much less time on bookkeeping and more time running your business.